Aquarius. This is Tina with 85th House Vibrations. And this is your very, very late monthly reading for February 2017. Happy birthday, Aquarius. Uh, this is your month. How you guys doing? Let me go ahead and uh, deal with the necessaries. <clears throat> this reading will be true for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is a general reading, so it probably will not resonate with everybody. If you'd like to pull together a more complete picture, <coughs> I'm sorry, Aquarius, of what may be going on with you throughout the rest of the month, uh, then you can take a look at your moon or rising sign if you know what that is. I'll be using the planetary spread and the deck that I'm using is the Tarot of Dreams by Sirio Marchetti or Marchetti. I'm never sure if I'm pronouncing that right. The planetary spread is an eight card spread that consists of a card for each of the planetary placements, the two luminaries, the sun and the moon. The five personal planets, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. And an outcome card. So, Aquarius, oh, the judgment card just popped out. And that's going to be in the sun position for you. So... Aquarius, I was just about to say that we just had an eclipse in your opposite sign, sign of Leo, coupled with a full moon. You got the judgment card that just popped out for you, Aquarius, so I'm wondering if some of you Aquarians uh, have come to a final judgment about something. And one thing that I wanted to say, Aquarians, is that and I actually talked about this yesterday too, but it's still on my mind. I'm feeling like some of you Aquarians, even when I said this yesterday, it was kind of general. But I was really thinking about you guys. Some of you guys I'm feeling like um, may have just realized that somebody that you are friends with, that you want to be more than friends or maybe you just found out from a friend that they have been checking you out i am feeling like that uh there are some friendships aquarius that can suddenly turn sexual and usually you know a lot of people say don't do it it'll mess up your friendship but you know i got the feeling i picked up the energy and i said this yesterday like go for it really go for it I think this this is one of those times where this really, really could turn up or it could turn out good for you. Um, so like I said, we got the judgment card for you. Judgment card is ruled by Pluto. And <clears throat> you could be coming, you could be making a final call about something Aquarius. You know, and for some of you, this final judgment could be about this relationship that I just talked about, but that's not going to be for all of you. There may be some other stuff going on, Aquarius, that you have come to a final conclusion about. Um, Aquarius, the other thing is the judgment card is, is the 20th major arcana. So let me say that you are represented by a major arcana. And that doesn't surprise me considering that there was an eclipse in your opposite side. So Aquarius, uh, this affects you a whole lot. It affects you a great deal. And this is going on on the opposite side of your chart. So this might have something to do with your public standing with your uh, reputation in the world with authority figures with government uh, 
with you having the judgment card there. Aquarius, some of you, I'm feeling like some of you, you Aquarians are actually lawyers, judges, somebody that has to make, you know, like the big deal decisions for other people. And then some of you Aquarians are may, maybe just kind of going through some, uh, and I don't know, I'm not saying that those legal things are bad things, but there may be some things going on, uh, Aquarius, that you get a final judgment about this month. And with this being the two, you know, I... We, I mean, with 20 breaking down into two Aquarius, I, you know, kind of getting the feeling. Okay, we just had this pop out, and we're going to put that in the moon position. That's the Queen of Cups, and we'll get back to that. I need to go ahead and lay out the cards. I'm doing all this talking. If I hadn't showed you the Judgment card, Aquarius, there it is. Oh my goodness. Okay, we just had the Queen of Cups jump out here. Yeah. I want to just kind of put those out. Um, so anyway, I'm <clears throat> something powerful is going on because the cards just keep jumping out of my hand and I just placed these three Aquarius, but like so many just jumped out that I just kind of had to put them back and if I see some of them come up again then we'll talk about it but so so far on the table we've got the sun position which talks about you we've got the moon position and we're gonna address these in a moment and that talks about your personal life um, it talks about your personal relationship your emotions, uh, your dreams, your subconscious, <clears throat> female energy in your life, possibly mater uh, maternal figures. And then in the Mercury position, we've got the Queen of Cups. And the Mercury position talks about communication. It talks about short distance travels. It talks about um, your siblings, your cousins, childhood friends, uh, people you may have come into contact with, you know, while you were in elementary school or high school. This talks about like like lower education, like I said, elementary, high school, anything before college. And that's where we get into your opposite sign, which is Sagittarius, Sagittarius rules. I'm sorry, uh, that's where we get into uh, the opposite sign of Mercury, which is Jupiter, and that rules higher education. <clears throat> Don't see why that was necessary, I just put it out. So, so far we've got two major, I'm sorry, one major arcana and two court cards. So, looks like we could be dealing with few different people this month Aquarius I'm wondering if by looking at this you've got maybe somebody talking in one ear and somebody talking in the other ear maybe you've got some decisions to make about something or about somebody's because that's what I'm singing right now maybe okay we just had the sun card jump out in the right position okay I'm liking that I'm loving it and that is in the Venus position. Aquarius, I just said that you just had a lunar eclipse in the opposite sign from you, which is Leo. So, maybe some Leo is important in your life, uh, Aquarius, as it comes to maybe the way you make your money. Maybe this is somebody that you have been eyeballing or that has been eyeballing you because the Venus position does talk about the... Uh, significant other the spouse the person that we are liking or are loving on um it talks about the way that we receive love or the way that we prefer to receive love the, the way that we give love as well talks about our creative expression and let me just say it's all good 
uh oh okay another jumper out so now in the mars position and i hadn't intended for all of these cards to be upright because it's like i get overwhelmed with the information i wanted to turn them over individually but they keep jumping out and maybe if i would place the cards that wouldn't happen but the universe delivers its messages the way that it chooses to so it's telling me to keep shuffling and i'm shuffling shuffling up the storm so we've got the six of wands there in the mars position let me make sure sun moon mercury venus and mars and I'm sorry, that is the Seven of Wands, and that is a Mars and Leo card. Yeah. And it's right on that Sun and Leo. Okay. So, like I said, you could be making some sort of judgment about something. You may have somebody... Uh, Somebody different in somebody in one ear, somebody different in the other. This person in the moon position that we're talking about, that being the queen of coins, this could be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And this being in the moon position is going to talk about somebody that you may be dealing with in your personal life. This could be a family member, a very close friend, business partner, spouse. This could be your mother, like I said. Or this could be some energies that you may be putting out. I'm going to go ahead and place the rest of the cards, Aquarius. Okay. The Jupiter position. The Saturn position. And the outcome. All right. And we'll flip those over momentarily. So, now this could talk about somebody who... Uh, could be living beyond their means. The Queen of Swords, I'm sorry, the Queen of Coins upright, and there seems to be some sort of delay here. There seems to be some sort of delay with my camera. Maybe in editing it will, because it's a slight delay, but maybe it'll fix itself in editing. Anyway, upright, she's this beautiful Queen of Coins. This is somebody who is consistent, who's loving, who's caring. This is somebody who feels like that if the home base is secure and comfortable and peaceful and all of that good stuff, that they, uh, you know, this is like a safe ground. This sets a great foundation for whoever it is that they deal with within the home or within the private life to go out and be whoever they can be. Now, when she's reversed, this could be about somebody who's paying too much attention to other people's business and maybe not taking care of their own this could be somebody who's spending too much money you know uh, this could be somebody who's not wanting to deal with what's going on in real life and so they drown their sorrows and maybe doing a whole lot of shopping you know just doing unnecessary stuff i think the good news is the benefit for that always in my uh, uh opinion is that it goes into the home so while you may find yourself in debt you at least your house looks cute so this could be somebody that you are dealing with or this could be you know you now like i said before this could also be this one person in your ear because i feel like you've got some back and forth going on and i actually feel you like Aquarius, you could be trying to make some sort of decision between two people. It could be this queen of coins reversed. Uh, and like I said, you know, this, if this is somebody that you are, and this may be somebody that you're already with or uh, somebody that um, already knows that you have feelings for them or vice versa, vice versa, um, I feel like this is somebody that you're already dealing with personally. But, you know, I wonder if this is somebody that you're dealing with, Aquarius, if they're not possibly taking advantage of you. And I feel like they're in your ear about something. And, you know, when I say taking advantage of you, I don't know that they are doing it on purpose. What I think is, you know... It's not so much of, of, of taking advantage 
as it is maybe taking you for granted. And I feel like this person, if this is somebody that you are dealing with, maybe is spending too much money. I feel like they're in your ear about something too, and this may be involving that money, but it's kind of hitting you personally. Now we've got in the Mercury position, the Queen of Cups. Again, there's a, a delay and it's driving me nuts. The Queen of Cups, this beautiful thing, you know, she is um, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. We're about to have a solar eclipse in the sign of Pisces, too. So we're in between eclipses as I make this video, but it's very, very late. I also forgot to mention Happy Valentine's Day. So anyway, Aquarius, I'm wondering if you are already inv possibly involved with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but you have your eye on, or somebody maybe that you work with, somebody in your neighborhood, somebody from your childhood, somebody that maybe you communicate with over social media, uh, something like that. There's some dialogue back and forth between you and this person. But um, the, somehow she's just out of your reach, Aquarius. I think that you desire her, but she seems to be just out of your reach. And maybe it's because this is somebody that you work with. And, you know, maybe you have a policy about not getting involved with people that you work with. So there may be something between the two of you, but uh, somebody may be hesitant. Because you guys work together because this is happening in the workplace. Now this uh, could also be somebody, like I said, that you may run into day to day. It could be somebody that you uh, dialogue with on social media. And there's something mysterious about this person. I feel like there's some type of unfulfilled longing. I just feel that. I don't know. I don't know why you feel like you can't get to this person. But it seems like there's something going on that makes her either unavailable or maybe you feel like there's some very mysterious things going on with her. And, you know, maybe you're digging for some answers. And maybe you've got somebody in your ear telling you something different. Maybe she's saying one thing and somebody else is in your ear telling you something different. You know, depending on who this Queen of Coins is. Now... The Queen of Coins, because she's reversed, I'm going to say at this point that if you do have two people in your ear, Aquarius, telling, you know, kind of going back and forth with you, um, the Queen of, this Queen of Coins person may not be the person that you want to listen to. But, you know, it, it, it's definitely going to gonna be up to you to come to... Uh, some serious truth. I think the serious truth, though, is around this mystery woman. And you're going to find out about it. That lunar eclipse in Leo, or this, this space between this lunar eclipse in Leo and this eclipse that we're about to have in Pisces, I think you find out who's telling the truth. And, you know, when it comes to this person, your money, your vitality uh, within personal relationships, how you shine within your creative expression, how people or how you see this other person. Like, this is all good. 
Aquarius, I am wondering if this Queen of Cups is in fact somebody that you work with and is possibly your, uh oh, I'm sorry, your supervisor, your boss. Somebody who has some sort of authority over you, who maybe holds a higher position than you do. And remember I said before that you may be trying to make some decisions about whether to move forward or they may be trying to make that decision about you. And maybe it is because of some positions that you hold. But I feel like this person may be your lead, your manager, your supervisor, your boss. If you are dealing with somebody at work now if you're not dealing with somebody at work if you know this is just somebody that um, you could possibly be getting ready to have some dealings with if you're not already like they are everything they are everything Aquarius Like, I'm wondering if this is somebody. Okay, you could be dealing with several different people. Because, I, I, you know, this is a Leo card. I mean, it's the sun, for God's sake. And, you know, it gets me to thinking about, again, some more that we just had this lunar eclipse in Leo. And this is sun. In Leo, you know, and the sun and the moon, about the yin and the yang, and the, the balance, and you have got this judgment card here, which is talking about getting to the truth, you know, finding the balance, and you've got those two, this delay is driving me insane, you've got those two pillars on either side, so yes, there's definitely, I think, some decisions to be made, some truths to get to, but I really think that it is all good. this venus situation and venus venus is about to retrograde so mm, 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 mm. aquarius this venus retrograde is so far as i'm concerned only gonna add five on to the ten of whatever it is that's coming out between this lunar eclipse that we just had in Leo and this solar eclipse that we are about to have in Pisces. And, and when I looked at the counter when I said that that was 22, 22. Ooh, what's this? What number is that? 20. Ah. These twos. Personal relationships. The moon is currently in Libra. We're talking about balance again. We're talking about being fair. We're talking about diplomacy. <sighs> Never fear, Aquarius. Whatever decisions you make, I think, will be based on the truth. You are divinely guided. You are divinely guided to the light. You will make the right decision. Whomever this is in your ear, kicking that nana, don't worry about it. You are divinely guided, okay? So, you know, I feel like with this seven of wands reversed, maybe you've been giving your power away to this queen of coins because she has been in your ear trying to convince you of something or maybe taking you for granted. Um, Aquarius this queen of coins is on the other side of the truth and i feel like you've been giving your power away to this queen of coins and this is somebody that you are already emotionally tied to so i do understand i do understand it may be hard to break away from whatever power that is that this person may have held over you because Pluto also talks about um, power struggles okay and then with us moving into this eclipse in Pisces that's going to take us to a tricky foggy blurry uh, place where we are not clearly seeing boundaries and I think that what that may be what you're going through right now Aquarius which is really strange for you because Aquarius certainly sees and recognizes boundaries Aquarius may choose to bust past those boundaries regardless because that's what Aquarius does Aquarius is the ultimate non-conformance 
the rebel, the uh, uh, the innovator. You know, I, I feel like Aquarius, like Aries, is a let's get it started type energy. I just think that Aquarius is not as impulsive and not as uh, quick to change their mind or direction as Aries. Because Aries, I mean, because Aquarius is a fixed sign. So whenever Aquarius decides to go out on whatever tangent it is that it's going to go out on, Aquarius is going to stay there for the long haul. But... You know, I often feel like Aquarius and Aries are definitely alike, and like I said, they they get it popping. If nobody else is well is willing to move the crowd, Aquarius will certainly do it, and Aries will too. So, you know, for whatever reason, though, Aquarius, I feel like you have, in fact, been giving your power away to possibly this Queen of Coins. I feel like this Queen of Cups is the truth. And I said truth, T-R-O-O-F. You heard the truth. Okay? So let's see what's in the Jupiter position. Ooh, ooh we got the two cups. <laughs> You're going to be blessed. You're going to be blessed with the connection that it is that you are trying to get you will make the right decision you will find out the truth of the matter you will make the right decision aquarius you know we got two cards left to turn over i don't want to get all overly excited but you know i mean goodness i don't know I really don't see how this could turn too bad. Um, now, so we got the two of cups there. Remember I told you we've got these two pillars here. So, you know, we got a couple of twos going on. We got uh, the judgment card is 20. So we are definitely talking about uh, personal rela relationships. And I think we are talking about the coming together. Okay, with Jupiter and Venus being retrograde, I did mention this Queen of Cups being possibly a childhood friend, maybe somebody from school. I just feel like the, this Queen of Cups is somebody that you know. This Queen of Coins may be somebody that you have already been with, you know, or that you may be in a current relationship. But I don't think this Queen of Cups is a stranger. Now, whether your boss, whether or not this is somebody that you went to school with, that you know, with whatever the case may be, I do think that for whatever reason, there's a status thing going on. There's a, a power thing, a position thing that is going on, possibly with this Queen of Cups. Uh, nonetheless, I, I think it's somebody you know. And with the Two of Cups being here in the Jupiter position, and Jupiter is currently retrograding in the sign of Libra, which rules uh, uh, relationships. It rules balance. I've been talking about balance. Um, and the moon is currently in Libra. <laughs> so Jupiter is retrograded in the sign of Libra and Venus is getting ready to retrograde which is this sun card here I'm just wondering if some of you Aquarians are in fact about to be dealing with somebody that you already know you already have or had some sort of connection with some of you Aquarians could, you know, be revisiting. This could be an old relationship and this could be the coming back together. Now, let me say, like I said before, you get to the truth. You get to the bottom and this could be the two of you coming back together for possibly some closure. Because I have to say, Venus going into retrograde, in fact, makes it makes us visit these, revisit some of these old relationships. People pop back up. And they could pop back up because there's some things that may have gone on that have been left unfinished, unclosured, 
And you know, now it it's it's universally time for those things to be taken care of so that one can move on. Now, I got to say it is ill-advised to start new relationships while Venus is retrograded. But you know, I kind of feel like when people pop back up, and I think it depends on you know, um the overall health of the relationship to begin with because some people you know, just because they split up break up or not together don't have access to each other it's not always a bad thing sometimes things just happen so you know while venus is retrograding i don't say 100 percent that you, you 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 shouldn't deal with those relationships as we move forward aquarian aquarius if you are going back the way that i see these cards if you are going back to a relationship and you've thought it over and you've weighed you know the the pros and the cons and you know the truth of it and you're not going to let this queen of coins possibly like i said talk that nama in your ear and distract you i think this coming together that that's going to happen between you and somebody is blessed by the stars and you know after we finish up this solar eclipse in pisces then it's this back and forth between leo and aquarius this is where we are now with this is where eclipse season is taking us we had this eclipse season of virgo and pisces for the last couple of years but now we are entering this leo aquarius back and forth you see what i'm saying so really you know it's a, this is all good aquarius I feel like with this Venus retrograde, I feel like if it's anybody within the 12 signs of the Zodiac who can benefit from this Venus retrograde, it's you. It's you. And I think it's going to be all good. Just don't give your power away to miss thing right here. So anyway, in the Saturn position, we've got the Six of Swords. And, and you know, this is going to talk about... Uh, I think there's going to come maybe a, a possible temporary opportunity for you to find out that information that you need to find out to get to the truth. It's just like right there. Again, like this queen of coins I said before was possibly something was out of your reach. There's some information that you're going to find out, I think, um, here in a moment that's going to make this within your reach. And I feel like whatever information it is that you get when you recognize that it is in fact, and again, this is somebody, I don't care what, you know what, <laughs> Aquarius, this, this queen of cups, this is somebody you know. This is somebody that you've known a while. And so, I think that something's going to come along. You're going to find out something. Find out something that's going to free you from whatever it is that has been holding you back from this Queen of Cups. And this is under the, 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 the energies of Mercury in Aquarius. And Mercury uh, will be moving into Aquarius. Uh, okay, let me see. I might be getting a little ahead of myself, but it's coming real soon. <laughs> That's a shame. Because um, Mercury is still in Capricorn. So it's got to go through Pisces. No, it's got, no, no. Okay, I'm right, I'm right. I'm getting Aquarius and Pisces mixed up. Mercury will be entering your sign pretty soon. I don't have the exact date, and I should be ashamed of myself because I am an astrologer first, but... This just says to me once again, Aquarius, that it is all good. It is all good. The only thing that you need to be watchful of, so far as I'm concerned, is this Six of Wands. I mean, I'm sorry, this Seven of Wands. Giving your power away to this Queen of Coins. It really is all about you and Leo. It really is. And I'm a Leo, so I'm glad. The outcome card is the four of wands reversed. Interesting. 
Now, from what I understand, the Four of Wands is, if I'm not mistaken, the only card in Tarot whose meaning is pretty much the same, reversed as it is upright. So... If there has been a reason that you have not been able to come to this place of complete uh, happiness, if you haven't been able to fulfill um, your desire of solidifying a relationship with this Queen of Cups, I think that this information that you're going to get with this Six of Cups swords is like right now just out of your reach but it's coming to you and it comes in your reach to help you reach this queen of cups um where there has been some sort of possible breakdown in communication which i think is being caused by the queen of coins this taurus virgo or capricorn that turns itself around And it may be that you, being the Aquarian that you are, come up with that unique idea, that aha moment, that solution, like I said, that had been just out of your reach, that had been keeping you from making this everything that you wanted to be with this Queen of Cups, whatever it is that had been restricting you, it, ooh, it's her. It's the Queen of Coins. Check it out. This four of, 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 uh, this four of wands reverse is Venus in Aries, which Venus is currently in Aries white right now. And I think that Venus in Aries is causing this queen of coins to take you for granted. Like I said before, she's on a me, 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 me kick. Gimme, 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 gimme kick. And she's in your ear on the other side of the truth. And I feel like this has something to do Aside from the fact that maybe this is your boss or your supervisor or somebody who has some sort of status, this queen of coins is helping to create limitations around whatever is to come of the relationship, I think, with you and the queen of coins. But it's like I've been saying the whole video, it's all good. You are divinely guided. You will see and recognize the truth. And it'll be all good. You'll be able to come to a place of solidifying this relationship with the Queen of Cups. And it may not be this month. But you are headed in that direction. Take your power back from the Queen of Coins. Because possibly, too, is something that could be keeping you from making the moves that you want to make is because the queen of coins is spending all your coins and you don't have the power to move because you're putting all of your energy into this situation and you know maybe it's keeping you from um, coming to some sort of completion with the situation with the queen of cups If I hadn't said before, we have one, two, two major arcana, two court cards. So yeah, you got a couple of people that you're dealing with that are going to help you really uh, uh, they're going to aid within your learning of uh, some particular lessons in the month of February, but you get what you want. It really is all good. You get what you want. And and I think you have fun doing it. You know, aside from 
this right here because you know really even though she's in your ear and she may be taking you for granted right now this is an easy fix with her you're all powerful you you you're a major arcana she's a court card you actually have all the power besides this venus person who like i said is the sun and i think it may this queen of cups and this um sun card i i, I really think are related i think they're one in the same but you and her together very very powerful now i will say this is going to be like a pluto sun thing if the two of you hook up pluto sun is a hell of a conjunction in astrology oh wow you know that could be really 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 intense and i'm not going to get off into all of the astrology here but pluto conjunct sun wow um uh, I'll, t I'll put it this way. If these energies are used correctly, this is a hell of a power couple. Man, you guys could have the world by the balls. Okay. Well, Aquarius, that's how I see it. I've talked way too long. Thank you guys for tuning in for those of you who are returning thanks so much for those of you who um are new welcome 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 you know i'm sorry i get talking so much and i'm all over the place i have so many things to say and then sometimes i get ahead of myself so bear with me guys and i'm sorry this is late happy valentine's day happy birthday aquarius um, if you'd like to get a private reading you can contact me at tina at 85th house vibrations dot net also, uh, if you'd like to, you can follow me on Facebook or Twitter. I have included the links below. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later.